on the floor of NAM 2007 at the Yamaha booth with uh, Yamaha's George Hamilton, who's going to talk us uh, through the MW12 uh, USB mixing studio product. George, take it away. Hi. Hi there. The MW12 is a 12-channel mixer with uh, six uh, mic pre's. Um, channels five and six can double as stereo inputs. Um, what distinguishes it from its little brother, the MW10, is that it has faders versus knobs. It also has group out uh, input and stereo output. This all goes, the stereo outs are doubled to the USB out, which goes to, uh, to the computer so it acts as your sound card. Uh, also, in addition to that, it's bundled with Cubase LE, IK multimedia software such as uh, um, Amplitude LE, Sample Tank LE. One of the advantages of the MW12 over the MW10 is that, that you can monitor just the wet return. On the 10, uh, because of price point, you hear the dry and the wet signal, which means there's the latency delay. It makes it very difficult to play a plug-in. But the MW10 works great. It's like a very small, portable, live mixer with four mic preamps because it still has the Yamaha sound quality. With, with, there's no compromise in the sound. Uh, it's the feature set. So in, in the MW12, you're able to listen to just the wet return. Um, the normal USB codec for Windows would be about three quarters of a second. Very undesirable. So we also wrote a very low latency ASIO driver so that you can get down in the very low two digit millisecond, like 10, 12. So it's very usable and playable. Uh, in addition uh, to the faders and the, <clears throat> the stereo bus, if you think of the, uh, the stereo on buttons as record button, really, anything that goes to the stereo bus is what goes out to the computer. So it's like record enable. If you want to mix or match or overdub, then you would, you would just use that. It makes it much more um, easy to facilitate that. Uh, in addition, we have pre-fader listen, group one and two. Well, why would we want group one and two? Well, I'm in my, I'm a beginner guy. I will need these channels, and then I've got a small band that plays occasionally, not a lot, just a little few instruments. Then I can have a monitor output out of group one and two, and stereo outs for the main. So it can function as a small PA mixer too. Uh, all of this bundled together at a very, very good price point. Uh, I also have a two-track input or USB input. Um, it's plug-and-play for the Macintosh and uh, the ASIO drivers for Windows. There you go.